헬로 메리도스 <웃음> 메리도스 봤다 해나 I stayed in India for 4 years and nowadays um, I'm missing my life Tora Tora in India So I decided to make a vlog which I can tell you about interesting points when I stayed in India Jalo, <웃음> let's start cardio Wild animals in neighbors In Korea, it is really difficult to see wild animals Even wild dogs <웃음> You can only see uh, pets There are dogs on the streets you can see but they are owned by people So when we visit zoo then we feel so excited to see animals, wild animals such as elephants, monkeys We are so happy to see them and especially Bache really loves watching animals When I was very young I loved it You know when I came to India I was really surprised that you could easily see wild animals in your neighbors <laughs> There were monkeys, monkeys, madala, langur, elephant, elephant madala, hatta, or even horse and camels, orca, pigs, oh, I forgot, uh, cows even. When I participated in a wedding, I could I could see a horse with a guy. I mean, he was riding a horse. Like the And many people were dancing with groom like this, like this, and also oh one uh, the groom was riding on elephant. Oh, you cannot, you can never imagine this scene in Korea during the COVID. When I came out from the house, there was there were peacocks. Oh, it was really amazing moment that I could see peacocks just in front of your door. When I was working in one, Kore one Korean company in India, uh, there was my Korean colleague. And she was staying in yeah, somewhere. And there were langur. langur. So one day, the langur, langur uh, invaded my colleague's house and took something shiny. So after that day, my colleague was both good so and at that moment, I understood that why there, were, there is a langurwala. Actually, langurwala holds a stick, lambi stick, and try to hit the monkeys so that they can be get rid of from, the, from that area. Friendly to foreigners. Indians are really friendly to foreigners. So when I visited uh, National Heritage, Kutub Minar, or what is that? Taj Mahal, a red fort, or people were coming to me and asked me to take photo together. So I felt, of course, I felt sort of weird, but at the same time, I felt I became a celebrity, and I would lo love to take picture with them. So even there was a queue to take picture with me. Okay, Agla, okay, Agla. When I was in trouble, they were willing to help me when I lost the uh, when I'm lost or when I was trying to find somewhere such man they were really helpful so even without without being paid anything so that time I felt all oh, Indian people are so helpful and so kind I believe maybe those be more kind Indians love their culture and traditions and patriotic in Korea when you visit a palace then you can see some people are wearing the traditional clothes which is called hanbok because while wearing that uh, you can enter the palace for free and also the pictures are really nice but in India you can easily see people wearing saris or kurta and pajami so I felt they are really loving their culture and their traditions and even when I see their weddings, I could feel that this is their traditional format. Because in Korea, the wedding and some performances are because westernized. But in India, still they they preserve their own culture. Maybe some people want to be more modernized or westernized. But as a foreigner, I could feel that. It looks really nice and touching moment to see 
how they want to preserve their culture and tradition. And I felt Indian people are very patriotic. One time I went to a movie theater and I was waiting for the watching movie. Suddenly people stood up and there was a national anthem. Like, Chaya He, Chaya He, Chaya 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 He. So I was really surprised to see that people are standing and they were singing, singing the national anthem. In Korea, I think around 30 years before, yeah, it was performed as like that. But nowadays, well, you can never see that. And I felt Indian people love their nation and they feel so proud of themselves because when I, when I eat something Indian food or when they see something related to India and even when I speak in Tora Tora Hindi, no, Tori Tori Hindi then they feel so proud of it and they, they feel so good that oh, a foreigner is speaking Hindi and also a foreigner is enjoying their culture, their food Security check So when I visited India and I was trying to enter a building and there was a security person who was checking my stuff and even body he was checking my body like this so I felt what well, is this very special building and I got to know later that it is just a normal place and this is normal security checkup and even when I tried to take a metro oh in morning man super super there was a long queue, even, even outside the metro station. But always there was a long queue only in Kai side, Larka side. But very short, short queue in Larki side. So I was thinking, I got to know that even, even to take a metro, you need to be checked up. So one person is checking your stuff while with a conveyor belt and the other person checks your body like this. At the first moment, it was a little embarrassing because someone touches your body like this. Even though it is larga to larga, still it is a little weird. But after some time, I became familiar to it. And even I learned Torasa Chugar as well. So when there is a long queue in larga, I give my stuff to my uh, larki uh, colleague so that uh, she can take my stuff to the short queue so you can easily pass the long queue in a short moment Jugar Where does Jugar Patayana? The mother of Jugar In Korea, the formality is really important so even though there is a way to go uh, faster still Korean people follow the formality Seeing that, yeah, it is, you can say it is organized or but sometimes sometimes sugar is required and I learned it in India when you're in trouble Indian people always find out a sugar the way to escape from that situation so when there is something broken or uh, if you just follow the formality you can never reach at the goal but Indian people always find out the way to cut in and to go faster, which is called jugar. And nowadays, I utilize this jugar in Korea so that I can easily solve the problems. Bridos, please tell me, what is your favorite jugar? Indian people love dancing. I feel Indian people love dancing. When Korean people drink together, then they go to karaoke to sing because Korean people love singing. But after drinking, Indian people go to a club and they dance together. Not just for a few minutes, for a whole night. And I felt they are so energetic and they love dancing. When I joined my colleague's wedding, I could see so many people dancing together. The stage was not so bora, but everyone was coming up on the stage and dancing together. But to elder people, um, grandma, grandpa, even they were surrounding me and they taught me how to dance. Even one of my friends taught, taught me how to dance. Then he said, I just need two fingers. Ek, do. And then make it upper. 
And then shake it. Shake it. And this was the starting point I learned Indian dancing. And I could feel that Indian people know how to enjoy. Enjoy their lives and enjoy the moments. Unlimited honking. In Korea, unless it is really emergency case, we don't honk. But when I visited India, I could I could hear unlimited honking. So I thought why do they honk a lot? I I thought that okay there is for there is safety. Uh, firstly, there is not proper line to drive. So there may happen a accident. You cannot easily see all the cars nearby. So while honking, you can let them know that you are nearby and you can secure yourself. I think that was the reason they honk unlimited. Initially, it was a little weird and I couldn't digest it. But after some time, maybe my hearing power became stronger. So I could endure it. Having meals very late. In Korea, normally we have breakfast around 7 and lunch around 11.30 to 1 p.m. maximum and dinner around 6 to 7. When I was working in an Indian company, we were supposed to have dinner together. I thought, okay, maybe we will have dinner around 6 or 7. I was waiting for that time. But even after that, there was no one to ask me to have dinner. So I was thinking, okay, and I was feeling so hungry. But around 8 to 9, they were saying that, okay, let's go for dinner. So when I arrived at the restaurant, it was already 9 to 10 p.m. I was really surprised that how, how can they have dinner at this time? And I asked them, what time do you sleep? And they said, 11, 12, just after dinner. I was not used to having dinner very late. So that was a, I can say, interesting point. But after some time, I also became familiar to it. And I, I had breakfast around 9 a.m. Dinner also around 8 p.m. Shalom, Meridos! These are the points I felt very new and interesting when I stayed in India. I hope you liked my video. And soon, I'm gonna visit India. So when I visit India, Mary Dost will also welcome me, no? Jalosat. Bye, Karol!